Hi Virgo, this is your love reading from the mid of April 2020 to the end of April 2020. So as you all know, I'm going to look into the feelings and emotions of the person that you're dealing with on a romantic level or that you're going to be dealing with on a romantic level. Um, what is it that they're feeling towards you in terms of love and romance or their emotions towards you? I'm using the Oracle Goddess deck by Amy Sophia Marashinsky. So here it goes. Dear Virgo, I notice that everything that is happening around me in terms of this relationship, I feel like what goes around comes around. I can't stop thinking about it. There's always something that reminds me of you. And though I want to approach you and I want to think about the situation, I notice that you have now put up boundaries and it's so difficult for me to come into communication with you. Because I do feel that there is a sense of betrayal and I understand why you would be defensive. I understand that. You just don't know that for many, many moons, many nights, I have dreamt of being in a harmonious relationship with you. A romantic and nurturing, loving relationship with you. But all that has happened between us, I feel doubt now that this might not even work. There's things about you that make my heart happy, make my soul and spirit happy. I feel so joyful just thinking about you. And those feelings make me want to grow with you, maybe even have children with you one day. Because the type of person that you are, I can see and feel now that you are a very beautiful person inside and out. Everything that you do is very sensual and beautiful and graceful. The way you move, the way you look, the way your hair flows, the shine of your skin, the contours of your body. I just admire every part of you. Okay, Virgo. That was pretty intense. Wow, okay. So no doubt this person does like you a lot, guys. But I guess you guys are feeling a bit defensive. Understandable after your, there's been betrayal. Understandable. So the next slide here will show the actions that this person is going to take towards you in the, in the, in the near future. So... Right off the bat, guys, I usually don't say this, but I can tell right now with all of these cards, there's a lot of male masculine energy within this person. This person may be a female, may just be a male, but even in the female, the masculine energy is quite a bit. But the masculine energy itself is tricky, is immature, doesn't think that much. Doesn't think in the sense that they don't think about consequences. So you do need to be careful. But this person, the way they're approaching you is very sweet. This person wants to take a leap of faith with you, the full card, first card. They want to take a leap of faith with you because they see what they like what they see. And they're formulating plans. They're thinking how they can get back with you. Of course, you've put up boundaries, as we've seen before. They're trying to see how they can get back into your life, manifesting everything they possibly can, using all the tools that they possibly can. And on top of that, not only are they trying to do that, but in the meantime, they're stalking you, either online, most likely online with the current times that we're in. If you are in the same work environment or in the same environment, they're seeing what you're doing. They're trying to feel you out. What is this person up to? What kind of mood are they in? Are they talking to anybody else? And very sheepishly, they may just ask you to, I don't know, go out on a date, which would possibly, it might not even be possible right now, but it's actually very sweet. I actually find it kind of cute. 
they're very sheepish, they're very shy, they're very scared. They're almost hesitant. But even the fact that the Page of Pentacles is bringing an offer, um, even if it's small, the point is, is that after this person has realized what they've done, even the small gesture means a big deal for them. I know a lot of readers do interpret the page as somebody that doesn't think much or is strong in emotions as much. But you do need to realize that everything does start small. And if this person didn't want to do anything, they wouldn't be approaching you in the first place. Just the fact that they're approaching you, not as a knight, not as a king, but as a page, still means that there's still emotion there. It just needs to grow. There's still emotion there, but they're just scared. This is the way I interpret it. It's only logical. Under the bottom of the deck is the Two of Pentacles. There may be things in this person's life that you just don't know of. They may be juggling jobs, priorities, family issues, um, maybe even another relationship. But it seems like they're not really able to give you that much time, and that bothers them. But they're going to try to take out time to do this now. In the coming near future, it seems like there will be some type of action. It seems as if they're trying to prepare themselves. So if this person does approach you, Virgo, be very gentle with them because it seems that they themselves are walking on eggshells. Now, under the bottom of the slide, the card that popped up, these are Doreen Virtues decks. Under the bottom of the deck was choose a new direction. So there may have been something that you were thinking, you know, it's going to go a certain way. But no, the angels have said that try to choose a different direction. Try to take a strategy and try to do it a different way. Try to do something different in terms of romance. The approach. Definitely communicate clearly. I'm happy this card showed up because this person is very immature emotionally. So you do need to communicate clearly. Even if they have masculine energy, it's very important to communicate clearly. Just be logical. Just tell them the truth. Let them have it. Only then will they become more wiser and more mature. The next card here, Angel Therapy card by Doreen Virtues, her deck. Sacral Chakra. So it is very important that, especially in this reading, all that is going on, it is advisable, I would say, that you stay away from certain chemicals and additives and processed foods. I know it's weird, but that's the way this card reads. <laughs> Energies that are not natural. So basically, come down to your main roots. Be more down to earth. Eat more healthy foods. Avoid chemicals, additives processed foods. There's something about these foods, these the energy in these foods as well, and the energy maybe of, let's just for example, this is just an example of Wi-Fi, you know, we, we're just surrounded by it, right? But there's certain things that are affecting you at this time in your life that the angels are saying you should avoid for a bit. So I would suggest that yes, try to get back to I guess, the way we used to be back in the day. Just try to stay as pure as you can for the current time. I am not sure why this card popped up, but there could it could be resonating just for a few who may have um, issues with their diet or with their lifestyle. So this may just resonate for a few. It does seem to me like this is very particular. This is a hard card that I hardly get. Under the bottom of the deck is books. This is one of my favorite cards, actually. 
a lot of you who view these videos are very intuitive on your own anyway. A lot of you do your own reading. This card here says books. Your life purpose involves writing, reading, editing, or selling spiritual-based books. So, if you can't write books, guys, it is wonderful if you could start reading about spirituality, reading about life, being appreciative. So, these last two cards almost seem as if your mind has perhaps been a bit far off, mm, away from real everyday life. You've been very busy. That's what it seems to me. You've been very busy, and it seems as if the angels are telling you, try to take a step back, try to read some books, learn about life, learn about spirituality, learn about yourself. Try to eat healthy, try to stay a bit healthy, because it seems to be there's certain vibrations that are causing negative um, effects on you right now, Virgo. So do keep that in mind. It's a very unique reading. I usually don't get readings like this. <laughs> um, but the message came, so I decided to share it with you. I hope this did resonate for a few. And uh, if it did, please like, share, subscribe, do comment. And hopefully by next month, my camera will be fixed and I will be able to make a video. So guys, I will see you in May. You guys take care of yourselves. Love to you all. Bye-bye now.